Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Steve O. Oh. Oh. I'm a wild boy, fuck, I ain't I need O. Oh. Hey, what's up, you guys? Avenger Vest here doing another Marvel Legends story, the Marvel Legends Ghost from the Thunderbolts exclusive wave back from 2013. This figure is awesome. I really, really love this figure. I got this as a Christmas present along with the other figures from the box set. And overall, that box set was really, really good. And I loved all the figures. But overall, I have to say, over um, my favorite figures of the wave are Ghost, the Moonstone, and it's a toss up between Luke Cage and actually you know what all the figures are just amazing in the wave but this one has to be my favorite um, he's a translucent figure so um, I'm a sucker for those figures let me zoom in a little bit I'm a sucker for translucent figures they're really really cool looking um, so this is just an awesome figure I really really like it now um, I don't have the figure but it, I think this is the same mold as the Bucky back from 2000 and six or 2007 and it's it's a good mold i just don't have the figures so i don't really i can't really say it's a bad figure but it didn't have these ankle pivots so um yeah he does come with one accessory he comes with this interchangeable head which he does have in the comics he does wear different helmets or mask whatever you want to call it and it's a really it's a really clean figure you can see the eyes very nice you know, very cool. He kind of bend, blends in with my background. That's very cool. I really like that. I like the, um, this is kind of like a very darkish, blackish purple, kind of translucent. I really like that. Same thing here. This is sculpted. This looks like a vest. Has these pouches right here. It's very cool. Thunderbolt logo, which is gold. Very nice. He did have that in the comics. His hand, very nice. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. This one is more like a, a grabbing hand. Um, same with that translucent paint. There's um, with that translucent black right there. Same here. I like how it goes from this um, this translucent color, then this translucent black, and then this black. That's very cool. I really like that. So overall, it's a very clean, simple figure. So I really like it. The articulation is very nice, the head looks up very far, love that, moves down very far, has kind of a neck pivot and moves side to side, arms up and down, um, up and down, back and forth, swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbows, it's kind of hindered by um, this glove, but I, that doesn't really bother me. He has a wrist swivel, no hinge, he has a great ab crunch. I don't, I don't know if he can bend back more. I don't want to push it even more. So, yeah. He has a waist swivel that goes forward and back, out. Swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knees. No cast rule, but the foot moves back and forth. And he has a great ankle pivot. So, this is a very cool figure. You can um, play around with different lights. Like um, this blue light, if you wanted to. No. This red light. Crap, it's not working. No, so yeah, very cool. Um, here he is next to your average Marvel Legend. Let me get him standing up. Crap. So yeah, um, he's pretty tall. He's kind. Of, uh, this Spider-Man's kind of hunched over, so I'm gonna just use Bucky Cap. So um. Yeah, he's a pretty good height. I really like this figure. Um, if you guys can find this guy or just any of the figures in the wave, get this figure, not wave, the box set. I recommend getting this one. Has one nailed it with this figure. You know, I really like it. This is him in his ghost form. He has another form where he's just wearing um, his regular clothes and he's not in this ghost form. So it would be cool if we actually got that figure, but the way Hasbro is going right now, I don't think we're going to get that. But overall, this figure is awesome. I give it a 10 out of 10. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.